You need to be ready for anything they may do. This story is my dad's but he was in a graphic design class where he had to write a program that would draw basic stuff like lines and circles. Well the teacher thought that the programmer should prepare for whatever the user may do and would mash keys until he crashed the system. So after a couple of crashes he decided to have some fun. He had heard about an error message that said, an error previously thought impossible has happened. So he wrote in the code if it was crashing to display that message. So he submits the newly written code and the teacher mashes keys until it pops up. What's this? An error message, but why? You shouldn't have it, you said to prepare for anything. I made an error message that covers everything. The teacher found it funny after a bit. But my dad wasn't done. Later he asked if he could see one of his programs. The teacher pulled up one of his and let him sit down. Q key mashing. The teacher was like nice try but I'm ready for that. The next key that was pushed was the power and it crashed the program. So, your dad is a cat. That was a real turn off. S. I'm guessing your teacher has code that. If random mess is being inputted. It blocks or ignores it until input is sensible again. I was taught in coding it's possible. But a PETA and not worth the time or money to include. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. This is from my Java teacher. And I have my suspicions already of someone using tutorial videos that are several versions behind. The versions of Java and IntelliJ we were using. Apparently updating would cost money. Which should be spent when your computer materials are at least 5 years out of date. I worked in engineering. This was back in the days of DOS. Our corporate designed a product and released it. Prior to the project beginning. It seems an engineer wanted to be project leader. But it was assigned to the corporate physicist. So there was some bad blood. Under only one specific series of conditions. Would a message appear. It simply said, XX sucks. With the physicist's initials in place of XX. As the product specialist, I asked the engineer what this message was and was told of the feud. Nobody had ever seen it. Besides the engineer, it was the engineer's political statement. The engineer was immediately demoted. And it was proven he had sabotaged the project, resulting in his dismissal. That was a power move. Shouldn't the power button crash any program? Smiley face. A long time ago, I set my computer to say, I'm sorry, I'm afraid you can't do that, for a fatal error. I forget where I found the audio file online somewhere. Long ago when I was first programming in FoxPro for Windows and had written an in-house app to track requests, we had one user who would enter a lot of frivolous requests. So for one release of updates to the app, I had code that would see who the submitter was and if it was this person then when his mouse got close to the submit button, the button would move around avoiding his mouse click. He got the message and reduced the number of useless requests he submitted. Ah yes. You should be prepared for the customer coming at the system with a sledgehammer. That's just good policy. There is a line between QA and idiocy. And that line was crossed the moment the power button was counted as any button. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.